Good morning students. Students, today we will discuss chapter number 3, Fractions. So, let's start. Students, here is Aman. One day, he returned from the playground and he felt very hungry. He opened the fridge. There was an apple in the fridge. Aman picked up the apple and was going to eat. Suddenly, his friends came to his house. Now, they were four in number, but Aman had only one apple. Now, Aman decided to cut this apple into four equal parts. Now, Aman distributed one part out of four equal parts among each of them. Now, students, you saw each one gets one part out of four equal parts. And when we divide one whole thing into four equal parts, its each part is known as one fourth. And in number, we write it as a one by four. Students, now we discuss it in another way. I have one drawing sheet and I have to distribute this sheet among four children. Now what will I do? I will cut this drawing sheet into four equal parts. And now I have four equal parts of drawing sheet. Now I distribute four equal parts of drawing sheet among four children. Now students, you saw each one gets one part out of four equal parts. And when we divide one whole thing into four equal parts, its each part is known as one fourth. And in number, we write it as a one by four. Students, now we discuss it in another way. I have one hanky. And when I folded this hanky in four times, how many parts are there? One, two, three, four. There are four equal parts of hanky. And when we divide one whole thing into four equal parts, one of its part is called one fourth. And in number, we write it as 1 by 4. Friends, now we discuss it in another way. This is a rectangular shape and it is divided into 4 equal parts. Now I color one of its part out of 4 equal parts. Now tell how many fraction have I colored? Yes, I have colored 1 fourth. And in number, we write it as a 1 by 4. Friends, now you have learned that when we divide one whole thing into four equal parts, its each part is known as 1 fourth. And in number, we write it as 1 by 4. Now, total number of parts into which thing is divided is known as denominator. And the part which is taken out is known as numerator. Now, in this rectangular shape, how many total number of parts are there? Yes, there are four total number of parts. And four is a denominator and one part is colored and one is a numerator. Students, we discussed one fourth by using different methods. And you have learned that when we divide one whole thing into four equal parts, its each part is known as one fourth. And in number, we write it as one by four. Now, in your homework, you take a thing and divide it into four equal parts and distribute its part among your four friends and take any shape, divide this shape into four equal parts and colored one-fourth of its part. Thank you.